Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, we use again Intensify Pro, but this time presets to make a photo pop. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer living in the beautiful, the amazing, the formidable city of Paris, France. And I make two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to subscribe to my newsletter and get the raw file of this beautiful photo of the roof of Paris taken from Montmartre right at sunset. It's free. All you have to do is subscribe to my newsletter and you will get this raw files and hundreds from all over the world. All right, click here if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In last episode, I show you how to use Intensify Pro, which is a really cool Mac and sorry, Mac only plugin to boost the colors and details and contrast and structure and many things in your photo. This week, I'm going to show you another example using Intensify Pro, but this time using their presets. Pretty cool and pretty fast way of working. Also, at the end of this tutorial, I have a little presentation again of my landscape retouching course. If you didn't get a chance to see it, it's right at the end. But for now, let's go to Montmartre and use Intensify Pro preset to get this photo to the next level. All right, so this week I want to show you again some uh, tips and tricks using Intensify Pro. I'm in love with that plugin from MacFun. So to get the plugin, you have to go to my website, Photo Search. You go to News, MacFun, and it's only for Mac and it's fun. And you can get the plugin here. You can get 10% discount if you use the code Photo Search. And I advise you to take the Creative Kit Plus. It's all their plugins with a 30% discount. Plus you get my discount. It's the best deal. All right. So we are in Lightroom and this is a, a raw file that I shot with a Canon 5D Mark II. It's the view of Paris from Montmartre Sacré-Cœur. If you ever come to Paris, Montmartre is like a little hill in Paris and you have this amazing view. Now I was a bit disappointed because I was expecting a very nice sunset which I didn't quite get but the view is amazing and I waited for the city light to start coming on. Not all of them but you see all the houses started lighting and um, I'm going to show you how we can turn this sort of... Uh, sort of, uh, yeah, our okay photo into something a lot more stunning using Intensify Pro presets. We are going to use more presets, but first we have some work to do in Lightroom. So uh, this was shot at half a second at f4, ISO 160. I have no idea why I was 160. I should be at 100 and I should be at f13, but whatever. It's still a nice shot. So I'm going to do my usual workflow. I'm going to open up the shadows and bring down the highlights. All right. I'm going to go on the white balance and put shade, which is going to warm up the entire photo. And I'm just going to add some blue a little bit here on the left. All right. And a little bit of magenta on the right. I don't know. I just like the feeling that it gives to the entire photo. It warms him up, maybe a bit more blue. I don't want it to be too uh, warm. And uh, I'm going to add a bit of clarity. And I'm going to do my white and black point, holding the old key on my keyboard. Mesdames et Messieurs, I'm moving to the right with the white until I see some dots. Uh, if you go further and further, the, the, the whole photo is gonna be, be very bright. All you want is make sure that some part of the photo, very small part is 100% white. And then I usually fine tune it by looking at it, if it's too bright or, or too strong. Then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do the blacks. I'm gonna go with the blacks the other way to make it darker. So it's gonna be a lot more strong and maybe a bit like this, okay? I think, I don't know, I don't like so much the white balance. So one thing you can do with white balance is you can do it, you can fine tune it in Lightroom using uh, gradients. Uh, I, I, wanna, I want this to be blue and I want the, the, the bottom to be a lot brighter, a lot warmer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a graded filter and I'm gonna warm things up here and I'm gonna do just a gradient for the bottom of the photo. Okay, because this was really warm. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, it was uh, and uh, it gives nice uh, colors between the bottom and the top okay so uh, i'm about to uh i'm ready to bring it into intensify pro and uh so i'm gonna right click edit and edit in intensify pro edit the copy with lightroom adjustments so it's going to create a tiff file uh, using uh, all what we've done so far in lightroom so we've done a lot in Lightroom, but now uh, in last episode, I showed you how to use basically um, uh, the adjustment sliders. I'm going to show you another technique, which I find is really cool, is the preset sliders. 
because some of the presets is really cool. So I'm going to go, for example, in the creative section of the preset and you just click and see how it looks. So artistics, well, it's kind of way over the top, but remember you have the brush. So you could just paint this, uh, you know, on, uh, on the bottom of the photo if you, if you like that. So don't think overall adjustment, just think local adjustments. Okay. Autumn morning. Let's see what autumn morning is going to do. Yeah. Calm day. Pretty calm. Detail vignette. No, I'm not going for that. Dramatic one, lack of color for me. Dramatic two, not so bad. Really lack of color. Dramatic three. Okay, on this one, it doesn't work. Dreamy. Let's check dreamy. Wow, that's very dreamy. And focus. Focus is making a soft focus around the photo. Now, HDR soft. I think I'm going to like this one. HDR soft. I like what it does, but not everywhere. I like what it does on the bottom. Okay, HDR vivid. Oh, HDR vivid is pretty good. It's a bit strong, but it's pretty good. Late spring. And what's really cool about it, let's say that I did like HDR Vivid, I could just lower the amount. And so that I, I would have something, you know, much more subtle. And I can do, I can show you the before and after. Here, before, after. I mean, quite a change. Really quite a change. So, you know, and um, late spring, low fi eye detail, all paint saturated all right now i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to image tune and use boost colors i like boost colors what it does and i like what it does everywhere on this one it really works well it really guts the color uh really cool before and after before and after and then you can still work with layers so this layer is just boost colors right so i'm still going to add one more layer and i'm going to look for another preset that i like so let's say, for example, HDR soft, which I'm adding on the top of it. Not bad, a bit too strong, a bit too strong, but not bad. I really wanted to make the city of Paris pop. So uh, let's see, uh, absolute clarity, how is it? No, that's too much. Let's see HDR vivid, that's gonna be way too much. Um, you know what, I'm gonna take HDR soft, but check this out. Not only I'm gonna lower the exposure of that layer, right? But then I'm going to take a brush and uh, on the opacity of the brush, I'm going to bring in about 50%. I'm going to make sure the softness is at 100% and the size may be a little bit bigger. Okay. And I'm just going to, you see that effect right now is everywhere. Now, as I'm going to brush it, it's going to be at 50% strength just where I brush and not and nowhere else. I don't like what it does to the sun. I just like, you know, what it does to the bottom of the photo. And if it's too strong, I can even lower the layers. Now check this out, before, after, before, after. So pretty cool, just using presets, right away we've got a better, uh, you know, we've got a better photo and we just stack two presets on the top of each other. It takes really a few seconds. And uh, that's what I like about this plugin is that you can just throw in a photo, check out a few effects, and, uh, and sometimes you really have some happy surprises because this is more what I was looking at, but you can still go back in Lightroom. So I'm gonna apply this. It's gonna bring it back in Lightroom. And for example, for the sky, I like to use the uh, graded filter. Well, first I'm gonna you know, crop the photo, make sure that my horizontal line is straight, which I don't think it is t totally right. That was not the case. I'm gonna lower a little bit here the sky, lower a little bit here to make it more panoramic. And then I'm gonna you know, take a gradient uh, make sure I'm on exposure. I could have done that before going to the plugin, but that's fine. You can do it afterwards. I just wanted to close a little bit the photo here, you know, and close a little bit the photo there. Just the bottom and top, making it slightly darker so that we have a vignette. I could have used the vignette for Mac Fun, but I just felt like doing this one. So, you know, I love going back and forth between Mac Fun and, uh, and, uh, and Lightroom because it can really add drama and make photos which really pop. Let me show you the original photo. This is where we came from. You know, it's like, wow, this is really a raw file with nothing. And this is where we are using Lightroom and MacFun. Pretty cool stuff. You got to try that plugin. It's really cool. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. I'm happy to announce that I have a new course coming out called Landscape Retouching. This course is a bit special. It has really all my technology on landscape retouching in Lightroom and in Photoshop. Some of the projects are going to be very easy, just Lightroom and Lightroom only. Some of them are going to be digital blendings pretty easy just using layers. Some of them are gonna be more advanced using luminosity mask, a very cool advanced technique 
for hard situation of blending. In all, you have 10 projects. There is 20 raw files. I have also a special release discount if you purchase this within the next days. All right, mesdames et messieurs, here you have it, my landscape retouching course. I hope you love it. And I will see you in another video. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir.